These are 10 most common questions for a React developer position. We ask them at almost every interview, both to juniors and seniors. It usually starts with hooks. You'll be asked to name all the hooks you know. And based on your answer, they'll give you more follow-up questions about their usage and specifics. Typically, these are use state, use effect, use ref, use memo, use callback. If you know more, great. But don't trap yourself by mentioning something you don't actually understand. They really like to ask about the specifics of the dependency array and use effect. For example, they'll give you a code snippet like this and ask you to explain the difference in behavior. If you know the answer, leave it in the comments. Almost every interview has the question about the React component lifecycle. How React knows when to update the DOM tree. They might ask you to explain buzzwords like virtual DOM, cancellation, mutable state, and pure function. Actually, this is one of the most classic React interview questions. It's been around as long as React itself, going back to the days of class components. You might know all the hooks, but if you don't understand React lifecycle, you already failed and probably won't pass the interview. What is probe drilling and how to avoid it? What is strict mode? They might also ask about the most common mistakes in React components, possibly giving you code snippets where you'll have to find the problem. React might forgive mistakes, but interviewers usually don't. How do you write custom hooks? They might ask you to write your own hook, so be prepared to know how it's done, even if you've never written one in your own projects. What are React Lazy and React Suspense used for? They might also ask about micro frontends and what this architectural pattern is used for. State managers in React. Even a junior developer should know how to use at least one. They might ask you about Redux, a heavy legacy of React that almost no one is using anymore, but it's still required to understand how it works. So at least you can explain why it's so shitty and what better choices exist. If you can argue well, it's gonna earn you some extra points. They might ask about the component library. There are several very nice libraries for React, and if you've worked with at least one and understand its basic principles, that's already a big achievement in their eyes. You can try something like Material UI on your own. Server components just recently became another very common interview topic. If you started with Next.js, it will be much easier for you to explain them, but either way, it's better to know what they are, along with their features and limitations. In the next part, I'll explain in details how to answer these questions correctly. And that's it for today. Like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this.